Okay, now we're getting into what can potentially be a really difficult thing for parents and for students, um, and that is mental math subtraction strategies in Singapore math. Uh, this one is really difficult because a quick glance over here says, you know, instead of uh, when we do 27, take away 4. All of a sudden we have addition here. We're adding 20 and, and 3. What's that all about? So uh, this can you know, potentially really confuse kids because there is addition. The best way to explain this as a uh, parent and to think about it uh, as a parent is to think about what's actually happening. Uh, and when we use these place value blocks, this representing the number 27, when I take away 4 here in just a second, I think you'll see where all these numbers come from. So when we do 27, uh, take away 4, I'm going to split the 27 into my tens and ones, and you'll hopefully have noticed that this is a really common strategy uh, in mental math. I'm separating my 27 into 20 and 7. Uh, and my goal is to take away 4 here. Uh, so where am I going to take that 4 away from? Well, if this is 27, should I start taking away from my 10s or should I take it away from these 7 1s that are hanging out here? Well, obviously I should take it away from my uh, 7 1s. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to take those 4 away. And how many do I have left from my 7 1s once I take 4 away? Well, I've got 3 left. And what happens to this 20 here? I kind of set it aside and ignored it, but I have to include it as a part of my final answer. Uh, I said another way, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't take anything away from this 20, so I want to keep, keep it and make sure uh, it's still here. So I'm going to take uh, 7, take away 4 is 3, and then I do 20 plus 3 to get 23, which is my final answer. So over here I write 7 minus 4 is 3, then 20 plus 3 is 23, so 27 minus 4 is actually equal to 23. All right, so let's take a look at how we would solve this problem. 28 minus 6 using this um, subtract the 1's strategy. Pause it here if you want to take a look, and especially can you figure out what goes in these blanks? Something minus something equals something, something plus something equals something. Well, let's take a look. Here's our 28. That's two 10s and eight ones, and I want to take away a total of six ones. So where am I going to take those six ones away from? From the tens? No, I'll take them away from the ones. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And what did I just do there? Well, first, I kind of skipped a step here. I, I, first, I broke my 28 up into 20 and eight. Then I took my six ones away from my eight ones, and I was left with two ones. Remember that this writing down here, which can look like we're making this problem more complicated than it should be, is just a record of what's going on in my head. Sorry about the bell there. So I would do eight, take away six, equals two. That's what I just did here in my head. And then I can't forget about this 20, so I'll do 20 plus the two, equals 22. So 28 minus 6 is 22.